Out and about legends, good morning. Um, so today we've decided to hit the road again and we're back down at Litchfield National Park. Um, today though we've decided to go to a place called Cascades. Now we're hoping that the swimming is open on the upper Cascades. The sign there seems to say that, I'll show you that on the way past. Um, obviously being the wet season that you can't really swim much around here as you've seen in the previous videos. But if this is open, we might be able to get in for a wee swim up at the upper Cascades. So I'll bring you along for the walk. It's about 2k there, they're about to get there um, through the bush. Um, and then we'll get up and we'll see what's going on. But we'll bring you along for the adventure uh, on a bit more yeah, and a bit. So there we go, upper Cascades open, lower Cascades closed. So what we'll do is we'll take a walk up and uh, we'll see exactly this is about, but I'll show you now, just as you size this, Litchfield National Park covers an area of 1,500 kilometres. That's just, that's unbelievable. Okay, so here's here's where we are, and this is what it looks like. So, Lower Cascades is there, as you can see. Um, and we're at the Upper Cascades Walk. Now, in the wet season, it's a return walk and then dry season it's a loop walk so you can see it there but upper cascades is where we're heading to up here uh, and we'll see we'll see if we can um, get a dip in there so let's head off and see what we can do Huzzah! it's a pretty steep climb um, it says on the website up to the upper cascades um, but the good thing is there's a bit of shade here but it says when you get closer up you come out into the open and short in the open sun, so hence the reason of lathered and um, sunscreen, etc. But look at this. Tell you what, guys, they weren't wrong when they said it's a pool up to the top, so yeah, lots of rocks, um, exposed to the sun a lot, so glad we got here early. This is where we are. Here we go, bit of a rock climbing experience to get up the rest of the way here, trips. So we can hear the falls in the distance, so we can't be that far away, but it's good we've got a wee bit of shade here, which is good. But um, yeah, we're going to see what's going on. We're not going to just go in and dive straight into the water. We'll have a good check of it first, even though it says it's open, and we'll double check the signage down here to make sure it's right. But yeah. Keep going, see how far we get and see what's going on. Yeah, and a bit. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is just gonna walk along um, all of this on this side, then we'll go back down the other side. We're gonna have a look. The shallows seem to be okay, but there's like wee deep, deeper parts in here. We're just gonna have a wee look as we go along and um, just make sure it's, it's all okay. It does say it's open, so um, but we'll do a wee check first before we go anywhere, anywhere near the water, and we'll try and stay as shallow as we can. I don't know if that's gonna help, but. You know, at least in the shallows you can see the water, so we'll do that. We'll move on down and see what's what's further down. So the idea is to see like the waterfalls, is to get in there and sit at the waterfalls and then some that, but we'll have a look at you can see it's it's pretty shallow in most parts. And you can see the bottom and um, okay. And you can sit down in there and stay cool for a while. There's a wee pool out there, let's see it. So let's see that's alright. Yeah, we'll keep our eyes open and we'll uh, we'll not be stupid, we'll make a sensible decision about where we get in and find 
but to reiterate it says it is open I showed you the signs it says it is open so <laughs> we'll still be clockwise but you have to be around this place okay let's see what we get up to next look at this place <laughs> Let's check this and make sure there's no end. I mean, it's nice and clear. You can see there's nothing in there that shouldn't be in there. It's going to be worth sitting in for five minutes to keep cool. Another thing you have to keep an eye out for is snakes. And I don't even notice Joel's with us today. So last time already he mentioned that he'd fancy coming out this way with us when it's came out. So he's here, he's just doing his own thing, cutting around. But um, that looks pretty, that looks pretty inviting, to be honest. Right then, I don't know if you can hear me. Um, it's good now because GoPro's now in a like a waterproof case. But hopefully, you should be able to hear me all right. What we're going to do now is um, we're just going to make our way into the waterfalls here, which I'll show you now. Um, so we'll take a walk down, then we'll walk along so you can find one of the deeper parts. But again, we'll do another check before we do that just to make sure. So stay with it. Let's see where we end up. Any of the underwater footage you're seeing, it's not because we want to look underwater and look all beautiful, it's because we're checking for crocs. So, um, yeah, better spark having to look before you do it coming in. I know the experts will know better than I, any of us, but it says it's open. We've done a check on all the parts that we want to get into. Put the GoPro in, we've checked, and now we're in the water cooling off. Right then, out and about legends, what can I say about this place? Absolutely fantastic. The water was beautiful. There's a young family just turned up now, so we'll we'll stop the video on that and we'll uh, we'll shoot off and let them have the place themselves. Um, but yeah, what a what an absolutely great spot. I'm just gonna grab uh, Joel here and then we'll um, make our way back to the car. Um, I'll let you see some of the, the hike back down. Uh, and from there then, we'll see what's happening. I'll let you know. Oop, in a bit. 
you know, this is a bit of a climb out here. We've got about this, no way out. As you can see, it rises up and up. So, uh, I'll watch the footing as opposed to talking to the camera. This is a steep old climb out. I just can't remember. I can't remember it being so steep on the way in. Probably because it was so tidy to get into the waterfalls. <laughs> but hey ho, here we go. Keep on going. Okay then, legend. So, one thing I have noticed, you walk out here, see the heat's picked up a bit. But the good thing is there's a bit of a breeze blowing which is good um, which is actually quite nice so came from the way down there I don't think the camera does it justice for the sort of steep incline on it but we want it's doable as long as you think the next time we've done it would wear like my walking shoes didn't realise it was going to be as rocky as this from just my trainers but yeah definitely doable these um, viewing spots are absolutely beautiful here don't know how much you can see in the distance, but it just goes for miles and miles, as far as the eye can see. However, the flies are ruthless here. They just don't give up. So I'm going to move on, keep moving towards the car. Right then, legends. Just coming back to the car now. See so if can crack out no wee sandwich over here, but that place is absolutely stunning. So what I might do is just leave this one here for you, um, so you can enjoy. And look, do all the good stuff, like, share, subscribe. Yeah, and a bit.